Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Multiverses running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this brand new fighting game is free to play and I was just playing it with some friends and I was pretty much just trying out some different settings on the system. Currently you're looking at it running with the full 1080p resolution at the lowest in-game graphics settings and we are at the stock 15 watt TDP. Now the level of performance that we're getting here is a little rough just because those 1% lows are pretty brutal. You'll see that the frame times for the most part are very consistent but it does become pretty difficult to try to time things when there are moments of spikes that you see there you'll see that there will be these moments where things will stutter and you'll see it very clearly in the frame times now this is with the 22.7.1 drivers and this game is a DirectX 11 game so it already might be getting some improvement in performance because of that these are of course beta drivers though and I don't recommend that you actually install these because I've been finding a lot of bugs in a variety of different DirectX 11 games so I would wait it out for the full driver release to end up actually coming out but in general this would be pretty solid in terms of averages if we could just get those 1% lows to be a little bit better but of course we can try to raise the TDP up to 25 watts and see if that actually improves the performance now at the 25 watt tdp you'll see that the one percent lows do actually see some improvement along with the averages where our averages are now pretty much at 60 with our one percent lows being in the mid 30s in general for casual play if you're just going to be playing with your friends and stuff like that then it's perfectly fine but if you're looking at playing this game more competitively it's still going to have moments where things will drop down a bit but in general you're, you'll see the frame times are just consistently far smoother than where where we were at before where you will still see moments of spikes here and there but it's nothing that's actually going to ruin the overall gaming experience so overall i'm already happy with these results but i was just playing with my friends this wasn't me trying to take this seriously so it could just be one of those things where if you're looking to actually get a more serious gaming experience out of this it might just not be enough for you and of course, at the 30 watt TDP, you'll see that we're getting some pretty solid numbers in terms of our 1% lows. The averages did end up taking a hit, but that's really just map dependent. But in general, the 1% lows being so close to the averages meant that we were actually getting pretty much the smoothest experience that we've gotten so far. 1% lows in the 40 range are just going to feel really, really nice, especially if your averages are in the 50 range. That means that the actual deviation between your average and your 1% lows is practically non-existent. And it is one of the more ideal situations if you're not going to be at a locked 60 fps of course an easy way to improve the overall performance here is to just drop the in-game render scaling down to 80 percent which is around what 900p actually is it's not exactly that but for all intents and purposes it's pretty much 900p and the level of performance that we're getting here at the stock 15 watt tdp is actually really rock solid we're looking at averages that are pretty much at 60 with one percent lows going down to 40 which means that this is already pretty much a perfect gaming experience at least for me per personally here and i also really appreciated that the game was actually keeping the temperatures really low so the system was about as quiet as it can get and if i was going to continue playing this game on this system this is pretty much how i would end up doing it going up to the 25 watt tdp here that didn't really actually end up doing much to improve the overall experience after playing a few rounds it was all pretty much within the same range as the stock setting specifically the one percent lows were just not really seeing any improvement over being in the 40 range and that's the low 40 range which again is still perfectly fine but now we're at higher temperatures than we were at before and we're pretty much seeing no performance uplift so i would realistically not really play it like this because it kind of just doesn't feel necessary it was already extremely smooth before any improvements in the overall performance that might come with this higher tdp really don't seem worth it considering that the system got noticeably louder once we started to get our temperatures into this range now the 30 watt tdp actually ended up getting us a nice boost in the one percent lows though it was also very map dependent some maps would end up just being in the mid 40s this was about the best result that i could actually get out of this and overall i don't think it's worth it because look at the temperatures that we're at for pretty much what is just a couple of fps difference it's just not going to be a doable experience all in all pretty disappointed to see how the higher tdps ended up doing here but also the game is going to run perfectly fine like this again if you're ultra competitive you might need to drop things down to what is essentially 720p resolution which i think is like maybe like 
60% resolution scaling or something like that. It might be like 70. But in general, the performance that you're getting here is pretty decent. You're going to be able to play this perfectly fine with your friends. If you're looking to play this competitively, you might want to get 1% lows that are at the full 60 hertz refresh rate. But really, it just depends on you and your personal preference there. But anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.